All right, here's a little video for the guys who have uh, Bighorn TL3 actions. Um, this might work on the Origins too, I'm not 100% sure, but sometimes you're shooting uh, single feed matches, uh, like F-Class or bench rest or long range varmint type matches where it's single feed only. And occasionally you'll get hang ups where the round wants to kind of stick on its way in. Um, this is a single feed loading block. So it helps with that situation a little bit. It's just a dummy magazine. Um, sometimes it's, it's more of an issue when you're trying to single feed from the top of a magazine, uh, it wants to stick. And a lot of the reason it's doing that is because of the bolt head, which is a uh, controlled round feed. So it's designed to, to grab the, the round out of the magazine. And so as you're single feeding, it's the case kind of gets misaligned and it gets kind of hung up as, as that bolt head is trying to, to capture it. And so one thing I've tried and I figured out actually helped a lot in my rifle um, is that Bighorn or Zermatt Arms, they're called now, but they actually make a push feed bolt head for their action. So it's not notched out like the control round feed is. It's just a, just a normal push feed. And so uh, it's a real easy swap out. Just remove your firing pin assembly. You can use your dummy round or whatever, whatever else you like to push out the little pin that holds the, the bolt head in place. And you've got your, your bolt head and you've got a little spring washer, um, your spacer, and then your bolt head. So you just take your new bolt head, spacer has a little bevel on one side, and that goes towards the bolt head. And then put your spring washer back on there. And you want to put the bolt head in place to where your the extractor is on the same side as the bolt handle. So your ejector slot is on the opposite side. And then put your pin back in with the little hole in the middle uh, facing straight up. That way your firing pin assembly goes up through there. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get that in there right. And then you fire can fire uh, firing pin assembly, just push it and then turn it counterclockwise until it snaps into the little detent right there. And then now you've got your push feed style bolt head and it's going to have the same dimensions. It's not going to change the head space on your on your uh, your rounds if you hand load or you know it's not really going to change anything. So uh, <clears throat> and so now the bolt head is not trying to grab the cartridge or the the round every time you're feeding. It's not trying to grab it. So it just it just pushes it in there and uh, nice and smooth now. And so at least on this rifle, it solved that hang up. It just pushes in nice and smooth. And the other thing that I've found is even from a magazine, at least on my rifle, it feels like even magazine feeding is a lot smoother. So. Uh, I still have to get it out and test it, but as of right now, everything looks, uh, everything looks like it's, it's going to solve that issue with single feeding and 
Uh, so anyways, maybe that'll help some guys. Like I said, they don't offer these on their website uh, or they don't show them on the website. Uh, so when you order one, you'll order um, just a regular bolt head, whatever size you need. Uh, it's 223 or 308 or Magnum. And in the order notes, you'll just specify that you're looking for the push feed. So this one has a PF ME uh, bolt head 308. There's a part number. Um, where is the part number? Uh, oh, yeah. That's uh, 40551. Looks like the part number. And so uh, you can talk to Ray at Zermatt. And there's their info right there. Anyway, uh, Ray will get you taken care of. And uh, hopefully that helps.